so students in the last video we were discussing about calculus we have also discussed about errors in this video we will talk about combination of errors so we'll start our discussion with an example that if we have a rectangle having some length and breadth so if someone measures this length a plus minus del a and breadth b plus minus del b then what is plus minus del a and plus minus del b these are the errors in the measurement of length and breadth respectively so <clears throat> we have measured the length with an error and we have also measured the breadth with an error that is delta b now the question is to find the error in area so simply the area of this uh, rectangle must be l into b but what should be the value of delta a or you can say error in area this type of situation is solved by a new approach that is called combination of errors so in this video we will talk about some types of combination of errors so students here we have some types of combination of errors error in sum error in difference error in product error in quotient and error in powers so in this way the first is error in summation let consider that we have a physical quantity z such that z is equals to a plus b a plus b where the measured value of a is a plus minus del a similarly the measured value of b is b plus minus del b measured value of z plus minus del z is equals to what so you have to find the value of del z here where del z error in sum so z plus minus del z is equals to a plus minus del a we have to sum the measured values of a and b that is b plus minus del b we can separate a plus b and we can take common plus minus sign del a plus del b so if you will compare these equations you will find the value of del z that is del a plus del b so you have to sum the errors in a and b to find the error in the summation of both quantities to find the error in difference we will consider a physical quantity z such that it is a difference of two other physical quantities a and b measured value of a is a plus minus del a measured value of b is b plus minus del b so what should be the value of z plus minus del z to find this we'll place the with error values of a and b so z plus minus del z is equals to a plus minus del a minus b plus minus del b
a minus b plus minus del a minus plus del b so for maximum error the sign of del a and del b must be same so z plus del z maximum del plus minus del z maximum is equals to a minus b plus minus del a plus del b so from here you can say that del z is equals to del z is equals to del a plus del b error in product so we should know some mathematical tools to solve this problem first log a b is equals to log a plus log b second d upon d a of log a is 1 by a we are differentiating log a with respect to a also we can say d log a is equals to d a over a d and delta are similar to each other represent a small change so we can place the delta here then we will get del log a is equals to del a over now let's come to the topic that is error in product let's consider that we have a physical quantity z such that z is equals to a b where measured value of a is a plus minus del a measured value of b is b plus minus del b <coughs> since z is equals to a dot b taking log both side we will get log z is equals to log a plus log b taking a small change both side both side this is log z del log z del log a plus del log b and we know that del log x is equals to del x by x we have derived in previous discussion so we can place the values then we will get del z over z is equals to del a over a plus del b over b so this is the maximum relative error in product so student this is your homework four questions are there and in each question you have to find the error in the combination so students complete this work in your fair notebook in next video i will discuss about error in quotient and error in powers of any physical quantity thank you